in this fourth part uh, we're gonna talk about login api because we have already discussed about registration view and now it's time to make a login api view so let's go for login we will use nox authentication token uh, because what token uh, this is token authentication what token authentication usually do is whenever a user logs in uh, it uh, it creates a token and that uh, like when we say logs in it creates a token and that token uh, got saved in front end so it is saved in front end and front end guy uh, gives every time this token uh, with the request he want to make and then we checks whether this token is uh, you know valid or not and if it is valid we checks for which user this token is so we will talk about this in the very end of the video but uh, now let's make something with token authentication and then we will uh, you know see how to use this thing okay when we are making uh, you know any request with our api so let's do it so very interesting thing token authentication and um, there's nothing much about it in internet so let's do it um, first of all you have to use a package django rest nox so you can install it uh, by using pip install i am not using uh, virtual environment but i highly recommend you to do so django rest nox in my system i think it is already installed so i don't have to worry about it as you can see here now it's time to uh, you know uh, add nox in install app settings.py so here you go you have to add this nox in installed apps okay and in the end you have to uh, make this settings also in rest framework so what we are doing uh, by these settings is we are making that the default authentication classes uh, should be equal to nox to uh, auth authentic auth token authentication there are some other authentication like session authentication yeah json web uh, authentication so we are not using these uh, so we have only one thing with a comma in the end so that we can make a tuple of it so nox uh, auth token authentication in the variant and yeah the user serializer that we want when we you know uh, gives the information of a user we want to use the user serializer from account so we have to make this user serializer so that uh, that will be a simple model serializer we will where we will use the model equal to uh, user in meta so first do it so in our serializer uh, here you go we have user serializer and what we are doing we are importing the model serializer and that's it uh, and the field should be the id phone and first login on you can add you can add more things from our model.py because our model is user so if i go to this model user as you can see here um, again it's not taking here but uh, yeah here you can see we can add any of the things but uh, what we are doing is we are using first login id the primary key and the phone all right so here you go in serializer next thing is uh, let's make a view okay uh, then we will talk about this login serializer what it is doing so our uh, thing will be to import the nox uh, uh, view and nox auth these two things are very important so nox view i add nox login view so we will use it and nox auth for you know importing the token authentication so now it's time to make as usual the login api view so class login api and here we are using logs that we imported and here we want to use permission class for everyone can do it so permissions you can import the permissions from uh, rest framework directly so from rest framework import permissions where there is status and relics also, also there and permissions don't allow any here you go and yeah we have to make it tuple every time you know and here dev post uh, because we want to use the post method and then request then format equals to none now in this post uh, what we want to do is we want to import the serializer the serializer will be the our login serializer and here we have to pass the data and the data will be that we have uh, in our request and um, okay so request your data and then we will check whether the serializer is valid or not so if the serializer is valid then it's okay otherwise we have to raise the exception okay what this reach exception is doing here let's talk about it now is the right time for it and in the very end uh, what we will do is if 
the serializer I have no exception to rage then uh, we will have a user in it uh, we have to make um, that so first of all a user dot validated data if you know about you know Django Rush framework and serializers you know every time we run serializer is valid method then that data returned is always in validated data uh, dictionary and we have a key there which will be user so we have to make this okay so we will make it after a short time and we have because now we have user so we can say login the user by using request comma user all right and return super of the post so super dot post and because by python 3 we would also pass the args here so request and format equals to none that you defined above here all right so here you go now everything is fine now it's time to define this login serializer so let's jump to login serializer here you can see our views are all over here this view so what it is doing is it is taking the serializer equals to login serializer and we are passing the data here and our serializer is here as you can see here, login serializer we have two fields here the phone number and password with the style equals to password type for the password okay that's simple thing now when uh, like we used to do in HTML5 and uh, that validate what is doing is <coughs> phone equals to you know phone and password equal to we are getting the password from the year that this data all right we are passing this data and this is going here and if the phone and password both are uh, you know in there in this request in post request that we will make then if the user is uh, you know because we are making uh, the login api so we have to check whether the given uh, phone number is there in our system or not if the phone number is not there we will say that there is no account so we can't you know login the user and if the phone number is there then we will check whether the given password and phone number are matching or not so here you go if the uh, uh, phone number is not existing then that's simple else phone number not found and then if the phone number and password both are given then we will what we will do is we will authenticate this authenticate is in django rest django contrib uh, auth uh, like you can import it and then it takes three arguments request this is most important that you have to pass the request from context okay and let me hide it and password equal to phone uh, equal to phone password equal to password what authenticate do is it will return false you know if phone and password are not matching with each other but uh, for authenticate to work it should be like phone number should exist that's why we are first checking that if the phone number is existing okay then only we are doing it and if the phone number and password are not matching it will return false so if not user this thing will do if a user equal to false so it will saying that phone number and password are not matching with each other try again otherwise you know if someone enters the wrong password for a particular phone number else uh, if the user is there we will make the user also and if the phone number is not there then we will say phone number not found and if both uh, these two things are really fine uh, then we will say that uh, yeah if the phone number and password are not in the request which we are passing from here okay then it will say that phone number and password both are not found or any one of not found okay and if the the everything runs totally fine you know if the uh, the exception is not uh, you know reached from this here and here and here then only that means that user is giving uh, that the request have phone number and password and the user is not false that means it have some user okay and that user we will make a new key value pair in our data that we are passing that is user and then we will return and this is what i was saying that we have to make this you know we are now accessing this uh, user that we created here in validated data and we will uh, uh, assign it to user and then we can uh, like, like we used to do in django just uh, the very same way we will log in it now because we are using nox login view this is very important to understand that because we are using this nox, nox login view you don't have to do anything to generate the token everything will be done with this login uh, view and i am telling you this is the most simplest way to use you know token authentication i have tried a lot of other methods you have to generate the tokens but this is simple every time you log in it will automatically generate okay so every time you, you are logging in that in the nox login view that we are importing uh, from this nox dot view okay it will generate for you and that's it the data so let's uh, now we have to make the url also so copy it in the url is fine and hey we have to import we have already imported and yeah here the login api dot h view because you are using the same login and the most important is to understand that in um, there's nox view there are also logout view so what logout do it just delete that token okay because you know front end just you know uh, giving uh, with every request the token and if they are not having this token and if they are having the token and be deleted from the logout then it will say that token not found a linearly token so we will see it in postman now it's the right time 
uh, so in postman let's do it this, that was cyberduck now um, firstly we have to create a new user so for that in our chrome go to admin i think the server is not running so first do it yeah because you have just installed you know um, the nox so you have to make migrations also and most important is to make the it, it have no migrations because it already defined the migration so it will not make any migrations but it will migrate the changes because they have already defined the migration so when you will run it because i will already run it this nox uh, thing so um, uh, it is not showing here but you have to uh, run this this is most important okay now uh, run the server here you go and as you do it now go to admin totally fine now we have this created this is no, this is now auth tokens okay and these are the tokens all right so for uh, now i'm deleting every token and then we will begin you know so that we can see item must be selected and okay I'm deleting these tokens here you go and so that we can check the new thing and yeah I'm sure that's it now we have no token for now now let's create a new user so that we can make him login so let's say phone number is one two three four five six seven eight nine you and one and password is uh, let's say one two three four and password one two three four here we have a new user with this phone number and the password one two three four so go to the postman in our request api slash login all right and here we have to pass the phone number and password and the phone number will be one two three four five six seven eight nine one and the password is one two three four in headers you don't have to pass any uh, you know authorization token so these are the only two fields for now okay and as i do it yeah, it is uh, saying that the user is six phone number is this first login no it's not first login and we have this token you know uh, this is what we're doing all right so now as you can see here uh, every time you have you are running the login thing this auth token is get cre is getting created here all right so this is uh, the important thing to see okay and this uh, token is basically uh, will be saved uh, in the front end and every time they will send this token with the request okay we will see it soon but now uh, one more thing to use it uh, to see it if i again request if the you know if you again request a new token will be created as you can see here if you again request a new token will be created and you can see here the three tokens have been saved here right so this is the last and now these two tokens uh, are also valid all right so uh, to make them invalid you have to pass this token all right uh, how to pass the token this is more important to, to understand because every time you are making a request and you have to pass the token so to pass the token you have to pass it in headers with the key authorization and you have to write token then the value of token all right it should be in this way only as i'm doing here all right and now it is not login it is now if you are passing token also in login it will say that uh, invalid token or some other mm, mm, i think it were running but you don't have to pass the token okay so for now and let's do it and in the body you don't have to pass phone number and password because we are logout we are running the logout view now what logout will do it, it will delete delete this token this is this is d4 as you can see here if you refresh this is uh, this i think top first okay and if i send it here so it is uh, saying no but uh, showing nothing because it's 204 successful request and saying that uh, it is uh, has been logged out now as you can see here we have deleted the fourth automatically because of this logout okay and if you again make this because uh, now the system do not have this token so it will say that token not found or invalid token as you can see here because it is not found in uh, the token to delete here so we have successfully created what the login view and the logout view okay so now uh, the question is what are the usage of this why why we are creating these tokens so let me tell you once again uh, with an example let's say we have login thing and we created this token uh, we have to pass 
we don't have to we don't have this token that's why it is saying invalid token and with the phone number and password we have to pass if you don't pass any phone number let's say so it is saying the password field is required and if you pass a incorrect phone number then it is a phone number not found because of this thing that we created here in our view Mm, sorry in our serializer because uh, what uh, it is doing it it is uh, raising the exception okay and if the exception is raised it will uh, give either this message or this or this depending on the condition now it is saying phone number not found because this phone number is not in our database and if i'm if the phone number is database let's say but password is incorrect so uh, so it found the phone number but it is saying the phone number and password not matching okay because authenticating authenticate is returning false at this time so why this these things are running because we have passed this raise exception to and running the each valid method all right and in the last part of this uh, video uh, what we have to do actually is um, I'm, I'm, I want to show you the use of this token so let's make the right password and phone number and as you can see this is the token just copy this token and let's say we have a, this request um, like we want to uh, make a card with the API that time we have to pass the token also the authorization token and if you pass the token and this token should be the correct one and what this request will do it will create you know and these are the items with this uh, cart api i created on something else i'm just uh, showing you for a, an illustration so it will check for which user i have to create the cart and it will retrieve the user based on this token because this token uh, it is stored in our uh, you know this to nox or uh, authentication token this is this token and this token says that this is for the user this so our you know our api will retrieve this token uh, by using this uh, value so now how the api uh, you know uh, figure out which token and how we how to make that view so that's simple uh, let me show you uh, an instance of that let's say we have this api or we have to make a order in this by using order create api view so we, we are giving the serializer order serializer and permission class is, author is authenticated and the authentication class this is most important we are using authentic authentic uh, authentication class is you know token authentication and that's it you have to just do this thing and then you can retrieve the user by required to user as you do okay so everything for us is uh, you know delivered by this token authentication and you don't have to do anything you are having user and um, just by passing the token authentication you know um, by uh, retrieving it from nox.auth okay then you can do as you uh, used to do in uh, required to user okay like uh, we used to do in our view which is authenticated thing and now it is uh, done by this thing okay nox authentication that's uh, you know enough for this uh, video